South Show 2015 at the Kershaw booth. Standing here with Jim. Hello, Jim. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. And we are going to cover some of what's new with Kershaw, ZT, some of the imported, some of the USA made. I'm excited to see some of this stuff. Okay, sounds great. All right, what do you want to start with? Let's start with, how about some of these little gems right here? Okay, so a lot of you may be familiar with the shuffle. Um, it's been a really popular piece for us. It's done really well. So this year we're offering a couple new colors in it. Lime green, purple, and a teal. And this time with a black wash finish instead of a bead blasted blade. Nice. And so because the shuffle has been such a popular piece, we actually decided to go ahead and give it a big brother. Oh, I love it. So this knife is called the Shuffle 2. So the Shuffle 2 is, is very similar in a lot of ways. It's still got a bottle opener. Still got that nice steel backspacer with a screwdriver on it. It's manual action. Opens nice and smooth. Okay. And now it's a Tonto, a black wash Tonto blade. Is this the only blade shape that's going to come in? This is the only blade shape that's going to come in. Okay. Yep. We're offering two handle colors. We have the black and we have this, this desert tan. It's got a single position pocket clip. Okay. HCR 13 steel. Bottle opener, Sorry. screwdriver. And that nice Tonto blade. Let me get that sucker in hand and see how it feels. I'm pretty comfortable with the shuffle. That's one I picked up at a Walmart, I think, and uh, just was really impressed with the price. And the the ergonomics on it, for how small it is, is just fantastic. Uh, remind us of the MSRP on the shuffle right now. So the uh, MSRP on the shuffle, I believe, is 25 and on the new one, it's 27 $27.99. Yep. So barely paying anything more, getting a, light, a larger knife, Ergonomics on it are pretty good. Yeah, cool. I like it. I like the colors. Okay. Nice. Okay. I like them. So next up, we've got the RJ Martin, a new, a new RJ, RJ Martin design. Mm -hmm. It's called the RJ Tactical 3.0. HCR 13 MOV steel. HCR 13, molded handles, mm -hmm. nice texture on them, reversible pocket clip. Nice contour to the handles, it's very comfortable and actually, it's actually not too thick if you look at it. Nope, not really. It's pretty good. Uh, nice spear point blade, aggressive backspacer on it, assisted opening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so another cool little knife. MSRP of $39.99. Nice budget folder, well designed, can be comfortable in hand and in pocket. Yep. Price is right. I like it. Cool. Yeah. Very nice. What else can we talk about uh, that's in that same price range or maybe a little above? Okay, so this is new. This is called the Filter. This is a new addition to what we call our Starter Series. So, Starter Series have been kind of a value price series that we've started. Um, stainless steel handles. This one's actually got a great contour to it, this big groove down it. Nice shape, nice pattern. Deep carry pocket clip, HCR 13 MOV steel. Um, assisted opening and a real attractive price point of $29.99. And this looks like a black wash type of thing. It is, yep, it's all black washed. Black wash with black hardware. Not coming in a different version. This is just the uh, no, that just that, right just now. that one. Yep. And I believe actually there's a I think I made a mistake on that blade steel. That's actually a 3CR13 steel. 3CR on that one. It's just an early sample, it's just mislabeled. Sure, sure. And this is this is going to be available for purchase around what time do you think? Um, probably second quarter, mid-year. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Next, another knife that I'm really excited about. This is a new Rick Hinderer design. This is called the Shield. Um, those of you who are Rick Hinderer fans will be familiar with his custom with his his actual Hinderer knives product that he calls the Eclipse. This is the same knife. It's just a little smaller version with a three-inch blade. Um, it's got a it's got a two-tone finish with stone wash on the grinds and satin finish on the flats. We've got steel handles with a titanium with a gray titanium coating on them. Steel frame lock on the back. Quad carry pocket clip. It's got the Hinderer lock bar stabilizer. Nice. 8CR 13 13 MOV steel and assisted opening. So the kind of in the range of the cryo, would you say? Yeah. Yep. The MSRP on this one is $54.99. Okay. So yeah, that'll probably end up street price around the same area as the Cryo is. That's correct. And um, another Rick Hinderer design at a budget price. 
Very nice, I like it. And this is the blade shape, the blade shape that it comes in. Yep, the comes blade in that finish. aggressive tonto. Yep. Right. Cool, looks nice. Yeah. So now a, a new addition to our Emerson Designs lineup. This is called the CQC 4K XL. So you may be familiar with the CQC 4K. It's one of the models that we offered. However, that one had a three inch blade. Mm -hmm. This one is a significant amount larger with a 3.9 inch blade. It's almost four inches long. Um, you can see I've got big hands. That's a, that's a pretty big knife. Mm -hmm. the blade is also thicker than the standard version. Um, got a nice G10 front scale. Stonewashed stainless steel frame lock on the back. Emerson style pocket clip. Again, we've got that two-tone blade finish with the stone wash and the satin. Manual action, and as always, the Emerson wave feature. And the thumb disc on there. So yep. if you guys are into those Emerson Kershaws, which many of you are, but uh, wanted something a little more substantial because you like something heavier, you like something beefier, you like nice, big, if I can deploy that, big knife, nearly four inches, then you will be into this one. Very nice. So, cool new piece for this year. And steel on it again, Willie? <clears throat> this one actually is HCR 14 MOV. Okay. Nice. Good addition to the Kershaw Emerson collection. Okay. So next up will be a, a new neck knife for us. This one is, is called the Dune. Um, you see a nice slim neck knife. Comes with paracord. Also comes with an with adjust, adjustable clasp. So you can make it shorter or longer. Got a really nice molded sheath on this. Anyone who's spent much time around sheath knives knows that the sheath is more than half the issue with the sheath knife. This is a very nice one. It's got good tension on it, but still you can get it out of there when you need it. It's got a nice aggressive tanto point on it. Good thick blade. It's got injection molded scales that have a really good texture on them. Really, not, You're not gonna drop this one or lose it. Um, real nice fit in that sheath. Here, let's try a little teamwork. You hold on to the sheath. Okay. Pull the knife. Oh, that's easy. That's nice. Wow. I dig stuff like this. Kind of light, small, um, real easy to carry, easy to throw around your neck. Have a nice, small, lightweight fixed blade. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, no, this kind of knife has been very popular and Pretty looking affordable. forward to Price range uh, would be $37.99 the $37 MSRP. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff so far. What else you got to surprise me with? MSRPs. So this one is called the Tinder. It's a personal axe. Um, so as, as opposed to a public axe. <laughs> well, so we've been really we've been really fond of this one. Thirty four? Forty four. This has been a, been a real cool piece. You can see it's a nice, got a nice beefy steel to it. Mm -hmm. um, it's a fairly small camp axe. You can see it's, it'll fit nicely in your bag. It's got a lot of cool features. Uh, we've got these four US standard hex drivers. You can also stick your little quarter inch bits in there if you were in a pinch. Um, you've, got your, you've got your axe edge. You've got a, a knurled hammer butt on the back of this for, for hammering tent pegs, whatever you want to hit with it. That'll work. Then at the other end here, you've got a pry bar with your nail puller in it, and also a bottle opener. Of course. Yeah. Injection and molded. Injection molded with a with a G with a fine G10 texture on the top of it. Okay. And then MSRP of forty four ninety nine. Forty four ninety nine is not bad. This is three CR. Is that right? Yep. Three CR. Yep. For a little camp axe, I'll show you kind of in my hand. We've got fairly large hands, and that's about what you have. So you can choke back on that a bit. Do some chopping with it. I bet you I could take down a small tree with that. You could, um, yeah, a good little utility camp axe from Kershaw. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. Price point seems good. What about a sheath? Is there like a nylon or what sheath kind of comes So this with? comes with a simple blade guard. I'm trying to keep it simple, keep it light, okay. keep it inexpensive. Okay. Cool. Thank you. And you got other things somewhere. Oh, I do, yep. Here we go. Yep, got a few more in the Kershaw line here. These Can are the... Can we just be done now? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so this is called the Ion. It's a three-piece throwing knife set. So again, black wash finish. Cool uh, black and white wrap on the paracord. Really nice design on these. Um, went through several cool designs and we ended up 
settling on this one with a nice broad blade, slim handle, paracord wrap in the ring. If you don't like the paracord, it's easy to take it off and you've got a really minimalistic throwing knife. Hmm. Oh, look at that. And those come with edges on them. Yep. It's not, a, it's not a shaving sharp edge, but it is a good edge. It is a good edge. You could actually, I mean... In a if you're throwing it a lot, it's gonna that edge is gonna go away pretty quick. Yep. But uh, it does come with an edge on it. That's a little bit. I gotta say, it's a little bit unusual for a set of throwing knives to actually be sharpened to this degree. But um, if you want it, there it is. A little ring on there. That's cool. And it comes in a three pack for around well, how much? What's the price? This would be forty nine ninety nine for the three pack mm -hmm. with that nylon sheath here. That's very comparable to what else is in the industry right now. It's pretty good. So you can slap that on your belt, go out in the woods, throw some knives around. Yep. Cool. I like it. Okay. So now we're going to move on to U.S. Kershaws that are new for this year. This is a new knife called the Link. Uh, the Model 1776. Little little American history riff on that uh -huh, one. Uh huh. Um, this this is a brand new value priced USA knife. We do a lot of expensive knives. We do a lot of moderate to higher priced ZTs and things like that, but we haven't done a lot of newer U.S. Kershaws recently, so this is these are a couple new offerings based on that. Um, Not both, a whole lot of money, but we'll talk about the price in a second. Yep. Okay. So, both of these have 420 HC blades. This one is stone washed, this one is black washed. Uh, this one has an injection molded handle with a nice texture on it. Um, this one has a machined aluminum handle. And uh, uh, with if a gray I finish. you right uh, before, you can get the machined aluminum with this finish, and then you can also get the black wash with the injection. Uh, no, you you get the machined aluminum. You can get either one of them with a Tonto blade, but the same blade finish. Okay, I understand that. So it'll be a stone wash Tonto version of this, and a stone and a black wash Tonto version of this. Okay, good to know. Yep. So That's the other nice. really big thing about this is the price, which yeah. is kind of what I started harping on right as we started. Yeah. So the price on these is. Yep. So the MSRP on this one is fifty nine ninety nine, and on this aluminum help version, if you want to upgrade, it's only ten bucks more, sixty nine ninety nine for that knife. All right. So That's your really MSRP. great value. Street value will be a bit lower. Yep. Exactly. Let me get one of those in hand. I haven't really held one yet. Yeah. So reversible pocket clip. Uh, 420 HC blades, speed safe assisted opening, and let me show them how that snaps. It's got a real nice action on these. Yep, it does. It feels good. I gotta wrap one thing down. So, yeah, real exciting product for us this year. Uh, you can position it to right or left hand, it looks like, but not yep. uh, tip down. Nope, it is reversible, but it's not, it's not quad carry. Yep. Nice. And the injection molded one feels the same, just different texture in hand. Yep, just a little bit thicker. Yep. Yeah, I like that. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Some nice USA made stuff. So finally, for our USA Kershaw product, we have three new automatics. Launch 1, the Launch 2, and the Launch 3. These are nice looking, and the steel on these again is? CPM 154 on all three models. CPM 154, Yep. and the coating on that is? Uh, That's a black DLC on the Launch 3. Mm -hmm. The Launch 2 is just a stone wash finish, and the Launch 1 has a black washed finish. Okay, let's get a look at those blade shapes and compare. So, almost identical here. These two. Yep, they're both drop points on those. And just a different here. different grind on the on the false edge. Yep, the bar that there with just a little bit of a that one's a little more bowie-ish. Yeah, yeah. That's neat looking. And then of course you have a little difference in the uh, some characteristics of the handle. Yep. They're just a little different there with a little stripe going on. Easy like for that. you guys. Cool. I, I tried these out earlier, guys. They're <laughs> fast. <laughs> pretty nice. <laughs> USA made automatics from Kershaw. They yep. fire hard. Probably has to do with the lightweight. You gotta hang on to that when you fire. Cool. Pocket clip there. No, that would be the same on all three models, yep. right? Same on all three models. It's a, re re it's a reversible pocket clip. The other fun thing on all these is that we ended up making these handles as, out of it as a two-piece handle. Mm -hmm. um, and we machined in the integral backspacer. 
it's not necessarily a new concept, it's just something that gives us some opportunities to add some cool features and designs. And as you see, each of these models has a, has a unique look as you look down the back of them. Um, then also, on the Launch 2, you have this little pass-through for your lanyard, and the same thing on the Launch 1. So, in, the, in that groove there, comes out, goes in and comes out here. Oh, nice. It's a great touch. So, nice look. And then, of course, for all of these things, price is important. Yeah. So, for the Launch 1, the MSRP is $149, $149.95. Launch 2 is $139.95. And the Launch 3 is $159.95. So, nice competitive price points. We're really proud of these. I think we've got some cool designs here, and we've got some, some nice quality happening with these as well. Yeah, I like them. They look good so far. Cool. And that's uh, yep. for Kershaw. About as far as we go, yep. but we have some ZT stuff to show off too, don't we? Yep, we do. All right, let's take a look at those. Okay. Oh, go ahead. It's your knife. Okay, so starting off with the ZT lineup for this year. Something new, we have a collaboration piece with Les George. So, we're real excited. Les is a great guy, great knife maker. We're looking forward to working with him. So this is this is called the 0900. It is a... Uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a chunky knife, a little short fella, mm -hmm. um, short and overbuilt, yeah. but not super thick either. You can see that's a reasonable thickness. Yeah. Um, nice stout blade, KBT ball bearing washers in it, zero tolerance logo engraved in the handle. So that was no spring assist, guys. That's just yep. all ball bearing washers, which yep. you can see right there. And that's how fast it is. I love that. That's why I love ball bearing washers. Super fast. Real nice. Did you say the steel on that one is? S35VN. S35VN, which is marked right there on the blade. Yep. And the price point will be around? This one will be 240. 240 MSRP. Yep. Yep. Aluminum, I'm sorry, not aluminum. Wow. Titanium handles. Uh, titanium frame lock on the back with a hardened stainless steel lock bar insert, reversible deep carry clip. Yeah, stone wash finish and everything else. Just a great knife. Pretty attractive. Nice. What else is ZT offering in 2015? Okay, we have a new Todd Rexford design. This is called the 0808. Nice, nice, beautifully chamfered handles. Titanium with a stone washed finish. Um, we have this polished decorative pivot. We also have a polished titanium backspacer, which is something cool and new for us. That's cool. Um, we have our two-tone blade on this, so instead of all stonewashed, we stonewash the blank and then we grind it. So you get stonewash on the flats, mm -hmm. and you get satin on the, on the grinds there from the grinder. Okay. That's nice looking. Um, KVT ball bearing washers again. This is also a manual knife, so nice snap. A lot of guys really prefer manuals over spring assists, and uh, I'll take either one, but when I have ball bearings in them, I'm totally fine with no springs because that's so fast. Yeah. Real nice. Cool blade shape too. I like, I like how that drops down. Not quite a sheath foot, but yeah. cool. Yep. Excellent. So titanium frame lock, hardened steel insert like the other ones, reversible pocket clip. MSRP of $250, $250 on this one. These will be on the market uh, around when? About mid-year. Mid-year. Nice. Maybe, maybe mid-second quarter. Okay. So, next we have a new new Emerson design. So, this is this is actually a knife that's a variant of our 0620 model. These, if you're familiar with that, it had a Tonto blade. Okay. So this is, this is the same handle as the 0620, but we've added a new front scale with new texture, G10. And then this blade actually is based on on Emerson's CQC8 model. It's a very popular knife. Um, yeah, it <laughs> has that, it has that curving yeah. blade. Um, so that is that blade roughly grafted onto this knife. So nice. really cool package. Um, we've, got our, we've got our old ZT stain solid pivot. Um, we have a titanium frame lock on the back, hardened stainless insert, reversible Emerson style ZT clip. 
S35 VN blade with our two-tone finish again. This is stone wash and satin. And an MSRP of $250 on this one. For what it is, $250 is not too bad. Again, that's a Emerson design. Nice and slick. Real solid. Good materials. I like it. Larger, beefier knife. Some of you guys really dig that, though. Cool. We got a couple more, don't we? Yep, we got two more ZTs here, and then we'll be, and that'll be it for this year. So, a lot of you may remember the ZT0454. That was a limited edition piece that we that we released last year at Blade Show. Won the uh, overall knife of the year. Now it's got a baby brother. Yep. So, this is the 0452. This is a simplified version of that knife. Or, excuse me, American made knife of the year. Right. Have a knife. Okay. So, uh, so, we got carbon fiber scales on this side. Yep. Carbon fiber handle scale there. Yep. Frame lock with the same uh, insert here. All right. Yep. Yep. Got the stainless steel insert on a titanium frame lock. Did you say this is uh, IKBS? Oh, I mean, um, it's yeah. not IKBS. It's no, it's, it's KVT. KVT. So it's I mean it's a it's a washer with ball bearings in it. That's right. Uh, S35 VN blade. MSRP of 275 on this one. Uh huh. Looks like it's worth every penny to me. It's a lot of bang for your buck. It's a big knife. 4.1 inch blade. 4.1. Yep. yep. And it's a reversible deep carry pocket clip. There it is in my hand. Fully wrapping it. I bet you that would feel really good in pocket too. That uh, does not feel like a heavy knife at all. Yeah. I uh, I don't know. Maybe five ounces? I feel like it's less though. Yeah, the realm of five ounces I would say. It just feels a little under. I don't know. I think it's just the, the weight to size ratio is such that it uh, feels lighter than it probably is. Whatever the case, it feels nice. Yeah. I can see carrying that every day. Some of you guys are going to really, really dig that, and I would agree with you. It's yeah. really nice. And you, know, and you know, I did actually misspeak. Miss, <laughs> I misspoke earlier. No problem. The 0454 was the overall knife of the year in 2013, not 14. So. Got it. You'll have to excuse me. It's been a, it's been a long day. <laughs> so, popular knife. We're just happy to be able to release a more mainstream version of it for you. Excellent. This will be what second or second. About, or about the same time schedule. Yep. Nice. So then, finally. Again, this knife is also based on the 0454, which, as I forgot to mention earlier, is a design by Dmitry Sinkevich, very talented knife maker from, from Belarus. We're really pleased to be working with him. And so if you think that 452 is a little big for you, we can, uh, we can do something about that. We have the 0450, the 4, 0450. So this has got a 3-inch blade, 3.1 actually, titanium, titanium handles, zero tolerance logo engraved in it, We've got that polished pivot hardware. It's got KVT washer bearings once again. So again, very smooth. Um, it's got an S35 VN blade, titanium handle, titanium frame lock, reversible pocket clip, and hardened stainless steel insert. And actually, this blade this is a prototype, so this blade is fully stone washed. But the actual the actual production models will have the same two-tone blade as the as the larger 0452. Okay. So one more cool feature on this knife is if you look at the back, it's yes. got these really cool anodized red tube spacers. I love them. So really neat feature, just a small detail that I think adds something to this knife. Now you said that's a prototype, is that right? Oh this is actually production. We just ended up doing a few blades that were stone washed and then we decided to go with the, the that nice shiny finish. Okay, got it. So yep. that so is this the pocket is, clip. We're not going to go with the deep carry one nope. that we have on the this other one. one. Is, this one is not a deep carry. This is a this is a standard pocket clip. That is the pocket clip. Part. And right. this one is actually a really great value. MSRP of two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars for a ZT and the steel again on it. Uh, S thirty five VN. I love the size on this one, guys. Yeah, no, I think that's going to be a real winner. Feels it's nice, easy and to end. carry, yeah. comfortable. Yep, super light. Um, gentleman's folder, very stylish, very classy. Extremely fast. Yeah, I, I dig that. It's cool. All right.
Those are some of the models from Kershaw and ZT for 2015. Is there anything else you need to cover, or have we knocked it out? Um, we've knocked it out. You have knocked it out of the park. Well done, sir. Oh, thank you. And we are at the Kershaw booth, SHOT Show 2015. Thank you very much for watching.